Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Morocco TV. Female soldiers fail the military fitness test. It's already been lowered for them, and they still fail? Please subscribe them below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that child. It's child time. Look, there's a reason why 26 of the most physically fit women in the Marine Corps have failed out of this course. That reason is simple. When you put 120 pounds on the back of a woman, she crumbles like a fucking crouton. <laughs> Look, one of the top comments even says, I'm a retired woman Marine. He's 100% correct. I was put through men's training in the 80s and 90s. I'm a very physically strong female, but I couldn't keep up to the men's standards. It's a shame the British Army aren't as realistic. Want to get up there? Want to get up there? Let's go. Not gonna. You know, and we see this, and they, they uh, women seem to think that we hate them or like we're making fun of them for this. No, we, we we pointed this out because you shouldn't even be trying to attempt to do these things. I again, I know military vets that are women that have destroyed backs. Their backs are so fucked up. They've been through three, four surgeries already because of the shit they had to carry. It's a horrible life in your 30s. I know three women that are like this. It's just not the best way to go about it. You could have gotten a better job. You could have done something else that would have still been great. Instead, you most women want to go in there to prove themselves against men. And you're just hurting yourself. Happen! No, not gonna happen! <laughs> Just run, just run. So it's not wow. The moment. Bit painful to watch. Because it's a fucking waste of time, really. Another thing that was painful to watch yeah. was Chile's all female SWAT team competing in a SWAT competition and failing miserably. Ramos. Belarus. Thailand. Chile. I just can't believe two all teams five from of the them Emirates try to go in at the same time. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> The first one to get wet in the ice bath today. Well, they are stuck in the middle of that zip line. Have uh, three team members stranded. What the fuck are you doing? Thankfully, the water will be a little bit warmer than it was. Oh, oh! oh. Yep, there goes the gun. It's all going horribly wrong. They will have to retrieve those uh, weapons from the ice bath. All of the equipment. Oh! Oh! Embarrassing! <laughs> so this is an international SWAT challenge, and for some reason, Chile decided to send women there just to completely embarrass themselves. I mean, you first see this and you laugh, but then you realize if this was a real-life situation, people would die. Imagine yeah. you're trying to sneak in somewhere dangerous and some donut falls off the zip line and just starts splashing in the water. You're dead. When it comes to life or death situations, we need to throw out all this box-checking, inclusivity shit out the window. <laughs> Oh, she made it at least. Okay, no, she did. Snap down to the headlock. Oh, he's bigger than her too. Probably doesn't weigh more than her though. We just talked about this. We stay tight. There you go. Oh, she's so screwed. Kaden, She's not even going? trying anymore. Oi! Nice! Oh! Nice! Oh! Yeah. Oh! 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 Yes! I give it to her. She tried. Oh no! Uh, no cry! No! Come on! It's a competition! Why you crying? Nothing against the lad, it's not his fault, he did what he had to do, but it's so stupid they allow boys to compete against girls, especially when they've just hit puberty. But I guess they better get used to it, because nowadays anyone can identify as whatever they want. Yep.
Fellas, you need to take care of yourself. And one thing that so many guys miss that they end up regretting later is neglecting their skincare. That's why I'm excited to have T. Shanley as a sponsor. Sent off for life. So just click that link in the description and take a look for yourselves. Does height matter in a guy? Right? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Step on the scale. What? <laughs> no, you don't ask So take it back. That. Okay, I'll take it back. All right. You're forgiven. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> what would you rate me out of 10? And for what purposes? Uh, out of looks. Of looks? You're a good six. Oh, six? Mm -hmm. What would you rate yourself? Nine. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. If you're an adult trying to promote your OnlyFans by asking strangers stupid questions, then you're you're a fucking idiot. With the conversations, he and other children of color could go to a safe place during these conversations, and that's oh, segregation. Oh boy. And uh, your son's father, who's African American, how does he feel about all this? I'm a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you shouldn't cry during your pregnancy. You let him hit it raw. Now you're a single mom. Uh, let me explain something to you ladies, okay? Let me explain something to you. This is how transmission works. There's energy in the, in, in the motor, and then there's the wheels. And you want the energy to, to go to the wheels. And so the way it works is the transmission is full of gears. And they're moving, and they're coming together. And then there's a little thing called a little flywheel and a clutch plate. And, and that thing starts to spin. And there's friction. And as the friction builds, the... Uh... Well, this is how we feel about Valentine's Day. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's facts! It's facts! Enough facts! These facts is enough facts! What? You know what? Is don't touch my car, maybe? <laughs> yeah! It's, it's ridiculous how many people like take pictures with other people's car. That's whatever. You know what? Taking pictures with the car is whatever. But touching all over the car, leaning on the car, that's quite disrespectful. It's not your car. Get out of here. Keep your hands off my fucking car. Yeah, you right. Prick. <laughs> Sometimes we need to choose where we're safe in life. <laughs> That's a decision. smart decision. It reminds me of this story, actually. Take a look at this. He saved a crocodile's life and they became best friends, but it came with a cost, his wife. While out fishing, Cheeto came across an injured croc that had been shot in the head. He's always wanted to befriend one, so he brought the 15-foot croc back to his house. His wife wasn't fond of that, especially since they had a one-year-old crawling around, so... Okay, that's reasonable. That is quite reasonable to be upset at their husband for bringing a croc around when you have kids. So he moved Pocho the croc outside. Over time, he built trust with the croc. He started slow by touching his tail and eventually worked up to kissing on the mouth. He spent most of his time with the croc, so much so his wife left him. To yeah. that he said, I like my wife and I love her, but I can get another wife, not another Pocho. <laughs> After months of nursing the croc back to health, he brought Pocho back to the river for release. But when he woke up the next day, Pocho was outside his house. He wouldn't leave Cheeto's side. The two were best friends. Pocho would even run to him when his name was called. Cheeto could jump in the water, wrestle with Pocho. This is freaky as hell. You know, I'm a big Steve Irwin fan. You know, I, I think this is awesome, but this is scary and freaky. This guy, that croc is huge. Pocho and nothing would happen. The two remained best friends for 23 years until Pocho died of natural causes. Oh, wow. Someone said so. Moral of the story is a two-ton natural killer machine is easier to live with than a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. Brother, ew. What's that? Okay, so this is me and my like second set. And I see what's about to happen, but I just keep working out for a second. Hmm? Pay attention to where he places belongings. No. I'm working out right here. If you want to do that, then you want right here. I mean, I, I have no things to do. Go straight. Do what you have to do. No, you're in my space. I'm not in your space. No, you sir. So at this point, I'm super aggravated because the sweat dripping in my eyes burning. He disturbed me in the middle of his set, and I got asthma. So I couldn't even defend my little corner. And then he all like, do what you gotta do. What that mean, sir? I would say that she needs Michael, but because yeah. she's a gym donut, we're gonna say that she needs Joey. So you're upset with this man because you say he's in your personal space. I'm sorry. You don't get to set your tripod up to film next to a machine and call that your personal space. That man has every right to use that machine 
and that space. And he even moves his bag back to not be in your video. Yep. Then you go tell him that he should go use the other machine, which he explains doesn't work right. But who do you think you are to tell someone what machines they can't or can't use? Then you go and support comments like this saying, it's because this man is white? Wow. Seriously? No, it's because... You know, thanks to you guys, I didn't know what the hell YT was for a very long time. I guess I kept on saying YouTubers or something, but you guys are like, no, I meant white people. And I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense. My bad, guys. Because you're entitled and you think you own the gym, which <clears throat> you don't, and you think you're a victim, which you're not. You need to do better. Mind, Mind your, your own, own business. business. If you can't handle me at my... <laughs> you don't deserve me at my... <laughs> Minimum height. <laughs> Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. So I'm going to say at least 200. 200 grand? Like 200. See, this is one of the big problems with dating. You've got too many below average women with shitty personalities thinking they deserve a top 1% man. That's why men need to stop simping and bring back balance. How old are you? 20. 19. How long you been together? Four years. When you go out together, who yeah. pays? Him. Most of the time. But, but I gotta make her pay sometimes. Cause she be making me pay for everything. So, I make her pay for sometimes. You feel like it's too much pressure as a man to always be putting the money forth every single time? Yes, especially at her age. Because, 21. I mean, I do make some money, but I don't be making bread like that, so. Do you ever feel like she might put pressure on you to spend? 100%. Oh, yeah. She spends a lot of money. No, I don't. She, spend, she always okay. he, she, he thinks that I spend a lot of money by wanting to go get coffee or go get whatever, and he thinks it adds up. But I think getting coffee every day is like a normal thing. It adds up. I know everyone's seen the like videos. It's like you spend $27 a day. That adds up to 10000 a year. I know that. And she wants to spend how much ever a day. So I know it adds up. Well, why not try to make it easier on your man math. and The math was math for that, man. I just think it's the guy's responsibility. Like, I don't try to spend a lot of money, but if we do go out together, I expect for him to pay. Some of these younger girls are brainwashed to think that these younger guys are going to have money. It's normal that a 20-year-old guy doesn't have money. They've been watching too many TikToks thinking that these guys need to have six figures, be six foot. Most men don't become successful until later on in life. And I don't think she truly likes you if she's putting pressure on you to spend money when you say that you're yep. struggling. She's a red flag. This guy's 20 years old. He needs to focus on himself and move on. Hey, babe. I don't even understand why he's still with her after that. Four years of that kind of treatment and the way she's acting. Yeah, there's no loss there. You guys are still young. Move on. Strength and honor. She's 100% a keeper. What about me being very disappointed in black men choosing other races, such as Spanish, white, and hey, Arabic? Hey, look, what and, and you have a right to feel that way. But when you guys also say that y'all have the presence of a resting bitch face and, a, and expecting that man to kiss your ass to get to know you is a problem for me. Because my resting bitch face is sexy. That's it's not. how I feel. It's, it's not. a sexy okay. It's disgusting. Okay, so what about That's what you think. That's your ego. That's what, no, what? it's not men All right, wait. It's me? No man thinks it's that's me? sexy. All right, so like, I'm just saying, you can be more approachable. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to disrespect you. Why? How, look, why? We, we ha, we ha wait. There's, there's a reason why we're not... Wait, what? Should we be just going around smacking women left and right and disrespecting them? I tell you guys no, but I'm sure some of you guys do and, and it works out. Why? Because women like this. Look, you just proven my no, point. No, yeah, don't waste your time with this, my pit. There's only one way it's ending. Cat lady. Cat lady. They're taking the role that girls used to have. They want to be wine dined in 69, which is the woman's place. It used to be the man was like less emotional. 69 was for both people. Not just for one. Oh, and less toxic, I guess. And now, now it's both. So now it's an issue because we're both sassy. And a lot of men have become more feminine, and a lot of women have become more masculine. I think men just need to man up in general, and women need to stop trying to be men. Because in general, most women are not attracted to feminine men, and most men are not attracted to masculine women. Do you say that someone should do quote unquote wifey things for their boyfriend, or do you think they should wait till marriage? I don't think I'm the person to ask because I do wifey things. <laughs> My boyfriend is the person I want to marry, so... It depends on the person. I'm already 
doing those things. Nice. So what advice would you give to women that say you got to put a ring on it first? Well, they will, why would they put a ring on it? You got you to exactly. give them a reason. It's not about looks. It's not all just looks. Yep. Yeah, she actually gets it. Unlike the women that say they're not going to start acting like a wife until he makes me a wife. How do you expect a man to make you his wife if you're not acting like one? Most women would not give a guy a chance if he said, I'm not going to protect and provide for you until you marry me. I went recently on a two-week trip to South America and on that trip, I cheated on my boyfriend of two years. Oh boy. But the moment it happened, I instantly regretted it. I cry every day thinking about it. I love my boyfriend with all my heart. I couldn't possibly bear telling him the truth. What would Alex do? Oh no. You know where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. Shout out to Arago. I know I have a hot take on this, but I really don't think m women should be in the military. In most roles, they cannot compete they cannot compete against other men especially in true combat roles so when shit hits the fan and we actually have to send our troops out and then we have a unit of women or just women that are probably going to cause issues or even more deaths when we send them out with units with men that's not a good thing I'd rather just our men's go out and just not have to worry about having to protect a woman or change their minds or whatever it is. Because men, when they see a woman in distress or something like that, something triggers in their brain. We don't want that happening in war. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.